Hello people, this is Dennis and today I'm going to show you how to record your bank transactions with MS Access. So as you can see I have the table snippet of the database table which you can see I have the date and I have the bank's name oops bank's name the initial balance the deficit withdrawal and the ending balance so this is a daily recording so day two will follow the same pattern and you can see you have hundred dollars you make a deficit of twenty dollars you have 120 minus eighty dollars that leaves you a balance of forty dollars and this is the output which is the calculation and is just and then balance is equal to initial balance plus deficit minus withdrawal So this is the formula that we're going to use. So I have the database already built and we can manipulate the numbers to see how it works. And you can see of a hundred oh we have a negative balance now. So now let's build a database right now. Let's see how it works. So a new blank name it bank VT manager. And we are in a blank table. Go to design. Name this BT table. And name this transaction ID. Go here. Eight. Yes. Banks. Initial balance um, Let me see the format one more time Banks name initial okay FC draw and let's form let's save and format this date this is currency this is currency and this is currency Uh, initial ending balance goes here and this is a the formula uh, initial 
balance plus deficit minus withdrawal. Save. Save this. It's working. Let's format this to be a currency. And save. Now we have it. Of another hundred dollars. Half two hundred dollars. We take hundred dollars out. We are left with one hundred dollars and FDS save and you can have another one. GTS. I just made this up. Now we can have a summary of our initial balance, deficit, withdrawals, and the ending balance. So in the next videos, I'm going to show you how to have summarize of all this balances for the deficit withdrawal and the balance and then balance thank you